Jones, Ryan Rail. Leading off with the Blue Duke second baseman number three. Welcome to High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Along with cameraman Tom Stoff, I'm the Bear Barry Hirsch, and we bring you a game today between the West Bend West Spartans and the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes. Whitefish Bay will lead off with Jack Council at second base, Brady Council at short. We'll talk about those two players in a moment. Brady Marguette is at first. Jack Stecker will bat fourth. J.D. Dix will bat fifth. Jack Nall will bat sixth. They're going to go with the DH today. That'll be Ryan Carew. He'll bat in the seventh spot. Patrick Muth bats eighth. Mike Topp bats ninth. We'll set up the Spartan defense for you here momentarily as we get set for Ryan Rail's next pitch. And that one's there for a ball. One ball and two strikes. Nice afternoon for a ball game, about 64 degrees at uh, game time. Next pitch. Swung on and a line shot into center field. That's going to go way over and back to the wall. And giving chase back out there is the center fielder for the Spartans, uh, Riley O'Connell. And it's going to be a leadoff double for Jack Council. So a leadoff double for the Blue Dukes. And now comes up his brother, Brady Council. And we did get confirmation because it is Whitefish Bay. And, of course, the uh, ball field down there is named Craig Council Field. Jack Council, who just hit the double, and now his brother Brady, are indeed the two sons of Brewer coach Craig Council. And, of course, the Brewers are, and the day we're taping this, on the road playing a night game against the Phillies. It's also Cinco de Mayo on this day that we're bringing uh, this game to be taped. Two and zero, the count to Brady Council with his brother leading off second. Next pitch, high fly ball coming down the left field line, giving chase and out of play. So the count is two balls and one strike. Now council back in. Rail will look from the stretch. Here's the pitch. There's a strike. And it evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Next pitch, misses for a ball and it's full now, three balls, two strikes. Nobody out, lead off double by Jack Council as he's at second base for the Blue Dukes right now. Pitch, swung on and missed, strike three, runner goes to third, he's in safe. So Brady Council goes down swinging for the out. Meanwhile, brother Jack advances to third. One gone here in the Blue Dukes top of the first. And now Brady Marguette will come up. Chance to bring in a run early here for the Blue Dukes. Marguerite will bat from the left side of the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fly ball, right field. And this one's going back, back, and still going back. As Prinzel is over his head, can't get to it. That'll allow Council to come in and score the first run of the game. And a deep ball there by Brady Marguerite gives him a triple and an RBI. And it's 1-0 Whitefish Bay. Marguette took that one deep to right field. Looked like uh, for a minute Prinzel might have misplayed it and had to go back on it, and it cost uh, a run. Now the pitcher, Jack Stecker, will come to bat. Already staked to a 1-0 lead, and he's got a chance to add to that with an RBI possible here. Outside for a ball. One and zero. Next pitch, misses for a ball and is two and zero. Yeah. 
Check of the runner at third by rail. Here's the pitch. And he misses again, and it's now 3-0. and So not exactly the start that uh, Ryan Rail was hoping for at this point as he's having a little problems finding that strike zone. Here's a 3-0. There he gets one in there, and it's 3-1. Blue Duke's dressed in their road blue uniforms. Here's the pitch. In the dirt for a ball, and he gets a free base. Almost looks like uh, the Dodgers uniforms of the L.A. So that'll put runners at the corners with still only one out. First walk issued by rail. And that brings up J.D. Dix. And Kleinhaus and Ian go out to talk to their pitcher and try to calm him down a little bit. Third baseman number 23, J.D. Dix. Runners at the corners and only one out here in the Whitefish Bay top of the first. They lead 1-0. Jack Council, a leadoff double, came around and scored. On the Margette triple. Runners with their lead. Runner going from first. Throw down to second base. Not in time. And actually shy of the throw. So a stolen base for Stecker. So now two runners are in scoring position. Pitch by rail. Misses the mark again in the dirt. Count even, one ball, one strike. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swung on hard run on the infield. Only plays over to first. Got it for the out. But Margette will come in and score from third base. Stecker will advance to third. There's two outs now. Center fielder number two, Jack Naw. So a runner at third now with two outs, and that brings up the center fielder, Jack Now. There's a strike. Next pitch by rail. Strike two called. See if we can get out of this one with any further damage. Only two runs given up. Pitch. Oh. Wouldn't give it to him, so he calls it a ball. It's two and one. Or one ball, two strikes, excuse me. Now the one two. Swung on and foul back. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Talking with camera operator Tom Stoff before we got on the air today, and it's nice to be back doing high school baseball. We were not able to do it last year because at this time, of course, the pandemic was at its peak. There's a swing and a miss for a strike. Throw it on to first, and that'll end the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes half of the first inning. But the Blue Dukes come up with two runs on two base hits. They get a double and a triple, and they leave one runner stranded on the base pads. After one half inning of play, it is Whitefish Bay 2 and the West Bend West Spartans coming up to bat. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Back here in West Bend as we go to the home half of the first. Spartans trailing it uh, two to nothing. Riley O'Connell will lead things off. Batting second will be Alex Ean. Tyler Young bats third. Casey Gerber will be the cleanup hitter. Ryan Rail, the pitcher, will bat fifth. Michael Kleinhaus bats sixth. 
Jake Prinzel will bat seventh, Joey Schneider will bat eighth, and Landon Dott will bat in the number nine position. The Blue Dukes will set them up for you defensively here uh, in a moment. That's uh, the infield at first base, Brady Margette. Second base, Jack Council. Shortstop, his brother, Brady Council. And at third base is J.D. Dix. Uh, in the outfield this afternoon, Jack Naw is in center. Patrick Muth is in right. Mike Topp is in left. First pitch is in for a ball. Catcher is Grover Bartoloff. So one ball and no strikes. Stecker paced his team to a two zip lead. There's a strike. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Now the one two, check swing foul. Just a slight breeze. Coming out of the west right now. A nice late afternoon here, though, for a high school baseball game on uh, Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May, as we record this game. One ball, two strikes. Pitch from Stecker. Upstairs for a ball. Evens up now. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch from Stecker. Upstairs and away from it, and it goes full now. Three balls and two strikes to the leadoff batter, Riley O'Connell. Pitch. Go, oh, caught him, strike three. O'Connell thought he was going to take a ball, but instead he gets caught looking, and that's the first out. Catcher number four, Alex Ean. I'll bring up Alex Ean. Ian bats from the right side, looks at a ball, 1-0. Oh. One old pitch. Ian holds up and takes it for a ball, and it's 2-0. and oh. Decker gets the signal from his catcher, Bartoloff. Here's the pitch. Chop fouls in the net, so it's one ball, two strikes. Decker checks the sign. Pitch. Swung on and missed by Ean, and that's 2 away. Two strikeouts to start off this first inning for the Spartans. And that'll bring up uh, Tyler Young, the shortstop, with two gone. Okay, shortstop, number two, Tyler Young. Pitch from Stecker. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. Margette will call for it. And he'll take it for the out. And the Spartans go very quietly in their half of the first inning. Three up and three down. 
Nothing across after one inning of play. It is the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes 2 and the West Bend West Spartans nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Along with cameraman Tom Stoff, it's the Bear Barry Hirsch with you here in West Bend. We've played one inning. Whitefish Bay leading the Spartans 2 to nothing. And it'll be the seven, eight, and nine batters for Whitefish Bay. The DH Ryan Carew will start it off, followed by Patrick Muth and Mike Tops. First pitch, foul ball, and giving chase over there is the uh, catcher, and Ian is not able to get it. So it's no balls and one strike. Next pitch from rail. Swung on, fly ball in right center field. Backing up is the right fielder, Prinzel. And Prinzel makes the catch for the first out. One up and one down in the Blue Duke second. That'll bring up Patrick Muth. Blue Dukes batted six men in their half of the first inning and got those two runs on a double and a triple. First pitch is a ball, 1-0. One old pitch, fly ball, foul behind the Whitefish Bay dugout on out of play. Count even now, one ball, one strike. One, one, right down the pipe for a strike and it's one and two. Next pitch, almost the same spot, but missed it upstairs instead, and it evens the count now. It's two balls, two strikes. Pitch, that misses upstairs, and the count goes full now. Three balls, two strikes. Down pitch, swung on and missed for a strike. And there's two gone. Left fielder, number five, Mike Top. Third strikeout here in the game for Rail. And that'll bring up the number nine batter, the left fielder, Mike Top. Right down the middle for a strike, and it's 0-1. Swung on, foul ball. He will try to give chase to it, but watch it go over the fence. And rail ahead of the count now. No balls, two strikes. Chance to go three up and three down for his team here in the second inning. O2 pitch. Missed a little low and it's one and two. Now Ryan, here's his pitch. Swung on, ground ball, scooped up by the shortstop, Young. He'll throw over to first and get it just in time for the out. 6-3 on the putout, and Whitefish Bay goes three up and three down here in their half of the second inning. No runs on, no hits, and there is no runners left stranded on the base pads. After an inning and a half, your score remains Whitefish Bay 2 
and the West Bend West Spartans nothing here on West Bend Community TV. Back in West Bend, it is two to nothing. Whitefish Bay leading the Spartans. Spartans will send the four, five, and six batters, Gerber, Rail, and Kleinhaus against pitcher Jack Stecker, who worked a one, two, three first inning. Opening pitch for him and to Gerber is a strike and it's 0-1. Gerber playing first base today, batting from the right side. Stecker looks down and the pitch. Check swing and he took it around and gets it called for a strike. So no balls, two strikes to the leadoff batter, Casey Gerber. Now the 0-2. Called him on a strike three, got him looking. Gerber goes down. Third strike out for Stecker. One out and that'll bring up uh, the pitcher, Ryan Rail. Rail will try to do something now to help his cause. Worked a quick second inning in his half. Now Stecker takes the pitch. Rail takes a hard chopper to third, scooped up there by J.D. Dix. He'll throw across the diamond for the out. 5-3 on the scoring stat there. So two up and two down for the Spartans. And that'll bring up Michael Kleinhaus. Kleinhaus using a bright neon green bat from the right side. Time called as a loose baseball comes on the field. There's another diamond uh, behind our field. Out behind left field. All right, Stecker back on the mound and ready to go back in it now. Here's the pitch. A little bit of a chopper. Stecker comes off the mound. He'll throw to first and get it for the out. And the Spartans go easily here in the second inning. Three up and three down. And we've played two complete innings here in West Bend. And the score remains the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes 2 and the West Bend West Spartans nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. With camera operator Tom Stoff on the Bear Barry Hirsch, we go to the third inning here in this North Shore Conference baseball game, and the visiting Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes lead the Spartans 2 to nothing. Top of the order for the Blue Dukes, it'll be Jack Council, Brady Council, and Brady Margett. Jack led off the game with a double and then came around and scored the first run. Here's the pitch from Rail. And there's a strike and it's 0-1. Next pitch by Rail, swung on and missed by Council. And it's 0-2 and, and in case you joined us Late in this broadcast, uh, after we got started, as we'll tell you in a moment here after Rail's 0-2 pitch, as time is called, well, Jack Council and his brother Brady Council are the sons of Brewer Manager Craig Council. Of course, Craig was born and raised in Whitefish Bay. Here's the pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three, one away. And... Uh, the baseball field where the Blue Dukes play is called Craig Council Field. It's a beautiful field, too, in Whitefish Bay. Had an opportunity to do uh, many games there over the years. It's, it's kind of like a Wrigley Field. It's right in the middle of the residential neighborhood there in Whitefish Bay. And uh, people can literally come out onto their front porch and uh, watch the Blue Dukes play their home games. Uh, 
right behind the home plate and down the right field and left field lines. It's a, an all-turf field also there in Whitefish Bay. One and all the count to Brady Council. Pitch is in there for a strike. It's also a very deep field too. Long baselines down there in Whitefish Bay. But again, it's a very nice field. Named after, of course, Craig Council. Now Brady steps back in the box. Rail ahead in the count. Check that one and one. Pitch popped up. It looks like it could be uh, playable. Giving chase over there is Gerber, but Gerber runs out of real estate. It can't quite get it. So Rail goes ahead in the count, though, however. One ball, two strikes. Now Rail checking the sign from Ean. Steps off the rubber for a moment. Now back at it, here comes the pitch. Swung on, hard chop foul down the third base side. One ball, two strikes. Pitch. Swung on line, shot, foul. Down the left field side. Count remains. One ball, two strikes to Brady Council, the Blue Duke shortstop. Struck out at his first at bat in the first inning. Pitch, oh, missed it for a ball, and that'll even the count, two and two. Now the pitch, missed it again, and Council being patient now has worked the count full, three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on line, shot in the left field. That's going to be in there for a base hit. Ball bobbled a little bit out there by Dot. And Council going to round first, go to second. And here's an overthrow, and that's going to allow Council to go all the way into third base. So a double and a throwing error puts Council at third with one out. So now a runner in scoring position with one out, and that'll bring up Brady Marget. Swung on and a fly ball foul. And it's 0-1. Third hit of the game now for the Blue Dukes. Spartans through their first two innings have yet to get a hit. Good lead there by Council Pitch. And they'll call it a strike on a delayed call there by the home plate umpire. One ball, one strike. All right, that was a ball actually, so it's one and one. Pitch. Low. Council with a good lead off a of third. Here's the pitch by Rail. Swung on and missed. And that'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes. To 
for the Blue Duke first baseman, Brady Margette. Margette tripled and scored the second run back in that two-run first inning. Pitch. Swung on, strike three, and that's an out. So two gone. Five strikeouts now for Rail, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jack Stecker. With a runner at third in Brady Council, the pitch. That misses for a ball, it's 1-0. Oh. Time called as another errant baseball comes in. One ball, no strikes. Pitch from rail. Whoa! And it hit him. Tried to get out of the way, but he couldn't, so he gets the base. So that'll put runners at the corners with two outs. And that'll bring up the third baseman, J.D. Dix. Dicks an infield ground out in the first inning. Now batting number 23, J.D. Dicks. Dicks with a chance to add to the Blue Dukes lead if he can get a hit and bring Council in from third. Runner goes, throw, no throw, and Stecker will get second base. So now two runners in scoring position with two outs and rail, trying to get out of a little bit of a jam here without giving up any runs. Pitch, missed for a ball. Count even now, one ball, one strike. One one pitch in the dirt gets away from him, and that's going to allow Council to come in and score. So Council comes in on what will be called a pass ball that also allows Stecker to go down to third. And it's now three to nothing in favor of the Blue Dukes. Pitch is a strike to Dix. Uh, missed upstairs for a ball. Stecker, just like his uh, predecessor counsel a moment ago, getting a good lead off of third base. Pitch. Swung on, fly ball, left field, and that one is going to go foul. So they'll do it again as it's a one ball, two strike count with two outs. A run in, but still a runner at third in Jack Stecker. Pitch by rail. And it's called a ball, so Dix will get a free base. Second free base on balls issued by Rail. Now Jack Naw with the bases loaded. Or excuse me, runners at the corners, first and third. 
No strikeout victim his first time. Throw down a second. Nobody there. And now it's second and third with two outs. Pitch from rail. Strike called. Count even now, one ball, one strike. Swung on and missed on a little sinker, and it's one and two. Now rail one strike away from getting his team in the dugout without any further damage. Pitch. Strike three called. Caught him looking. And the inning is over. But the Blue Dukes come up with one run on just one base hit. There was one error committed by the Spartans, and the Blue Dukes leave two runners stranded on the base pads. But after two and a half innings, we have a new score. It's now Whitefish Bay 3 and the West Bend West Spartans nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. We're back in West Bend as we go to the home half of the third inning. Spartans trailing Whitefish Bay now by a score of 3 to nothing. It'll be the seven, eight, and nine batters here for the Spartans in their half of the second inning, third inning. Prinzel, Schneider, and Dot. So while the Blue Dukes are halfway through their lineup the second time around already, this will be the first time that the bottom three of the order for the Spartans have been going to bat. They've gone three up and three down, six outs in a row have been recorded by Jack Stecker. And here's Stecker's pitch for the third. And it's a ball, 1-0 to right fielder Jack Prinzel. One zero pitch, that misses for a ball and it's two and zero. Stecker has yet to give up a walk. He has struck out three so far in this game. Two zero pitch. There's a ball and it's three and zero to the leadoff batter Jack Prinzel. There's a strike. Three and one the count now. Stecker gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Swung on him, foul back, and it's full now. Three balls, two strikes. Stecker's 3-2 pitch. Hold up in time, and did Prince get the base? He, he put up a, yeah, I guess so. It looked like he put up a strike, but no, he got it. So a leadoff walk for the Spartans to get a base runner. First walk given up by Stecker. And here's Ethan Liebeck. Looks at a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Go, 
And there's a ball. And it's now 3 and 0. Oh. There's a strike called. Pitch, square to bunt, and he'll get the base. Two straight walks here to start the second in the third inning. So that brings up the number nine hitter, Landon Dot, And he'll represent the tying run here in the bottom of the third. A little bit of a managerial talk there by Jay Wyshynski for Whitefish Bay. Dan Amico does the same thing as he had a chance. And now Prince will go back out to second base and Lebec will go back to first. And here's Landon Dot stepping in the box for the first time today. Squares to bunt. Holds up for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count to the center fielder, Dot, the number nine batter here for the Spartans. Stecker from the stretch, pitch. Dot squares to bunt, no, slide into first and back in just in time is Ethan Lebeck. Count now two balls and no strikes. Pitch, squares the bunt again, takes a strike that time. Two and one now the count, trailing three to nothing here in the third. Tried bunting again and takes it foul and now it's full three, or even two balls, two strikes. Stecker from the stretch, the pitch, swung on, fly ball, center field, camping up underneath it is now he'll make the catch, and it's not deep enough for the runners to advance. So there's one out, and we'll go back to the top of the order for the Spartans. Top of the order for the Spartans, second baseman number one, Riley O'Connell. O'Connell was a strikeout victim back in the first inning. So he'll represent the tying run. Pitch. Looks at a strike, and it's 0-1. Pitch low for a ball, evens the count now. One ball, one strike. Good, 
Stecker's 1-1, one, one, swung on, fly ball. That one's going to get into the gap. It's down for a base hit. One run is in, and they're going to round the third to third and hold him up, but it is now a 3-1 to one baseball game. Riley O'Connell gets an RBI single. LeBeck goes to third. And that's the first hit of the game. So a single RBI for Riley O'Connell on the first hit of the game for the Spartans. Now runners at the corners with one out. Stecker's pitch. Low for a ball. Here's O'Connell down to second, and he's in there. So the tying run now moves into scoring position for the Spartans at second base. Chance for the Spartans to get a big inning here with only one out. Pitch by Ian down at the knees for a ball, and it's two and one. Pitch. There's a strike. Bell tie. And Stecker head in the count now. One ball, two strikes. Ian struck out swinging on his first plate appearance in the first inning today. So he's 0 for 1. Stecker's pitch, fly ball foul, out of play down the right field side. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Runners take their leads. Pitch. Chopped on the infield and play over to first. Got him. They'll come home. Safe at home. So Liebeck scores. Ian is thrown out. So there's two gone, but it's now a three to two ball game. And now O'Connor representing the tying run at second, fourth back. So the Spartans have broken through here in this second inning, third inning, excuse me. Pitch by Stecker, gets through. And O'Connell will make his way down to third. So now the time run at third base with two outs for the Spartans. Young back in the box, Stecker. Having to work a lot here in this third. Here's the pitch. Swung on, chopper on the infield, scooped up out there by Council. He'll throw over the first for the out. And that'll end the Spartan third inning. But the Spartans get on the board. They get two runs 
on just one base hit. They leave the tying run stranded at third base. After three complete innings of play here in West Bend, it's a new game. It's now the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes 3 and the West Bend West Spartans 2. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. With camera operator Tom Stoffs, the Bear Barry Hirsch, back here in West Bend, we go to the top of the fourth, 3-2 to two, Whitefish Bay leading, and it'll be the 7-8-9 batters, D.H. Ryan Carew, the right fielder Patrick Muth, and the left fielder Mike Topp. Ryan Rail had a struggle from behind, got behind early 3-0, but now back into it at a 3-2 to two game. And now here's his 1-0 pitch. Misses for a ball. Carew, fly ball to right field his first at bat this afternoon. He's DHing today for catcher Grover Bartoloff. 2 0 pitch. Misses, and it goes to 3 0. Three balls, no strikes. Rails pitch. Right down the pipe for a strike, and it's three and one. Now the three one. And he lost at ball four. So a leadoff walk to start the fourth inning. It's the third walk issued by Rail today. And that brings up the right fielder, Patrick Muth. Muth struck out swinging uh, back in the second inning, so he's 0 for 1. Pitch. There's a strike. 0 and 1. Pitch swung on, fly ball, center field should be caught out there, and it is for out number two, or out number one, excuse me. One out. Now batting number five, Mike Top. And that'll bring up Mike Top. Top an infield ground out in the second inning, so he's 0 for 1. Pitch. There's a strike. No balls and one strike with one out to the Blue Dukes here in their half of the fourth. Pitch. Strike called. 0 and 2. Now rail from the stretch. Here's the 0-2. Missed it in south. That's one ball, two strikes. Next pitch, runner goes. And the throw to second. Got him! He's out! Great throw by the catcher, Alex Ean, to get the runner trying to steal. So now there's two outs and nobody on the base pads. Pitch. Count even now, two balls, two strikes. Rails pitch, swung on and a foul. 
So it remains two balls, two strikes. Pitch from rail. Call them strike three. And the Spartans get out of the inning. Whitefish Bay, half of the fourth. No runs on no hits. There were no Spartan errors. And no base runners left on the base pads. We've played three and a half innings here in West Bend on this Cinco de Mayo. And your score remains Whitefish Bay 3 and West Bend 2. This is High School Baseball with the West Bend West Spartans on West Bend Community TV. Welcome back to West Bend with camera operator Tom Stoff. I'm the Bear, Barry Hirsch. In the fourth spot, first baseman number 13, Casey Gerber. Spartans trail 3-2, to two, but it'll be Casey Gerber to lead things off. Against pitcher Jack Stecker, pitch to Gerber. Swung on on the ground and picked up by the Marguette, and he'll take it for out number one. One up and one down for the Spartans. Now batting pitcher number 22, Ryan Rail. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Ryan Rail. Infield ground out for Rail. He's only at bat today, so he's 0 for 1. Stecker, his pitch. This is for a ball. One ball, no strikes. And the pitch. There's a strike. Even now to ball and a strike. Swung on and missed. And rail behind in the count now. One ball, two strikes to his opposing pitcher, Jack Stecker. Stecker bears on down, looks to his catcher, Bartoloff. Here's the pitch. Just missed, and the count even now. Two balls, two strikes. Stecker's 2-2 delivery. Swung on, shot in the center field. That'll be a base hit for Rail. And he helps himself out a little bit with getting a hit, a single. It's only the second hit of the game for the Spartans. Their other one was a uh, single by O'Connell back in the third inning. But now that puts the tying run on, and we're going to get a pinch runner. Number 26, R.J. Colchin. And R.J. Colchin will be the pinch runner. Third baseman, number 11, Michael Kleinhardt. I'll bring up Michael Kleinhaus, the third baseman. Fouls one back. We're in the fourth inning, and the Spartans have the tying run at first on the leadoff single by rail. Colchin in for him, pinch running now with a good lead. Throw to first. In there, safe. Stecker and Marget thought maybe they had him picked off. A one pitch. Strike called, and it's no balls, two strikes. On, 
Stecker from the stretch, the pitch. Misses for a ball way outside, and that's going to allow Rail, or excuse me, uh, Colchin, to go down to second base. So now Kleinhaus with a chance for an RBI to tie this game up. Pitch swung on and missed for a strike. And that'll be an out. Two gone. Fourth strikeout uh, by Stecker here this afternoon. That'll bring up Jake Prinzel, the right fielder. Prinzel walked and scored one of the two runs in the third inning for the Spartans. Now he'll try to get an RBI to tie this game up. Pitch from Stecker, and it's foul away. No balls, one strike. Three to two, Whitefish Bay leads it here in the bottom of the fourth. Check of the runner, and Colchin back over. Colchin now the good lead. Stecker's pitch. Strike called right down the pipe. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Tyne run at second. Stecker from the stretch. Just missed, throw to third, got him! A perfect ball thrown over to third base. And Colchin is caught trying to steal. So that'll end the fourth inning for the Spartans. They get no runs on no base hits. The runner is thrown out. And that'll complete the inning after four innings of play here in West Bend in this North Shore Conference matchup. It is Whitefish Bay 3 and the West Bend West Spartans 2. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. Back here in White, uh, West Bend against the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes. Blue Dukes leading it 3-2 to two, and it'll be the top of the order. Jack Council, Brady Council, and Brady Margette against pitcher Ryan Rail. Rail's first offering is in there for a strike. And it's 0-1. Jack Council, one for two, doubled and scored in the first and struck out his last at-bat back in the third. Next pitch, ground ball. Nice scoop up, throw over the first in the dirt. It's going to be safe. Tough throw uh, to pick that one up by Tyler Young, and Council is able to foot it out for the single. So a leadoff single. Now batting number one, Brady Council. So that brings up his brother, the uh, shortstop, Brady Council. Struck out in the first, doubled and scored in the third. Both teams with the same amount of runs and hits. The Blue Dukes three runs on three hits at this point, and the Spartans with two runs on two hits at this point. We play here in the top of the fifth. Throw to first, and Jack Council back in. Well, as we get into the early evening hours of this game, uh, the sun's starting to Going to the clouds and a little bit of a spring chill starting to come over the field here in West Bend. Two balls, one strike to Brady Council. 
Pitch. Not there again, and it's a ball, and it's three and one. Rail from the stretch. Council's lead. Here's the pitch. That's right down the pipe for a strike. And the count goes full now. Three balls and two strikes. Pitch. Runner going. Fly ball. Left field. Coming up around trying to make a catch on it. And got it. For the outs, deep fly ball, and it was positioned just enough that Council was unable to advance. So one out here in the fifth inning for Whitefish Bay. Number 20, Brady Marguette. So that brings up the first baseman, Brady Marguette. He's one for two. Tripled and scored back in the first inning and struck out. Marguette's pitch, and that one will go foul. No balls and one strike. Pitch, and nothing happening there, and Council will slide into second base. That's a one-run game right now at 3-2, to two, so Council represents at least one insurance run, which would put Whitefish Bay back up by two. Here's the pitch. Low in the dirt. Nice grab there by Alexine, the catcher, to save that one. Now one ball, two strikes. Pitch. No, missed out way, and it's evens the count now at two balls and two strikes. Pitch. No, wouldn't get it, and it missed. And now the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. One out. And Jack Council with the leadoff single and stolen bases at second right now. Rails pitch. Swung on, fly ball. Going to stay shallow. LeBeck is there to make the catch for the out, and there's two gone. Two up and uh, two down, and that'll bring up Jack Stecker, the pitcher. Pitcher number 13, Jack Stecker. So Stecker will try to get a connect hit here and possibly bring home counsel. Stecker 0 for 2 so far today. Here's the pitch. And there's a ball thrown by Ryan Rail. Rail has struck out seven and walked three to this point. Stecker at the plate right now uh, has walked two and struck out four. Pitch. Swung on, hard chopper, but a nice picked up scoop there by uh, Lebeck. He'll throw it a first and get it for the out. So the leadoff single gets nothing. No runs on one base hit, and there's one runner stranded on the base pads. Middle of the fifth, and your score remains Whitefish Bay 3, West Bend West 2. High school baseball right here on West Bend Community TV. Along with camera operator Tom Stoff, the Bear Barry Hirsch with you here in West Bend. 3-2, to two, a good one here. 
Unfortunately, Spartans on the short end. Jake Prinzel will lead things off. Prinzel was at bat in the last inning when uh, Rail got caught stealing at third. So Prinzel will get up to bat now to start things off here in the fifth against Jack Stecker. And here's Stecker's first pitch. Swung on and missed for a strike by Prinzel. Prinzel walked and scored one of the two runs back in that two-run third inning for the Spartans. Now Stecker's 0-1, foul back, and it's 0-2. Now Stecker is 0-2 pitch. Misses for a ball, and it's 1-2. and two. Stecker back on the mound, toes the rubber, and here's the one-two. And strike three called. Prinzel gets caught looking for the first out of the inning. Five strikeouts now for Stecker. Left fielder, number 28, Ethan Liebeck. And that'll bring up Ethan Liebeck, the left fielder. One ball, no strikes. Liebeck uh, walked and scored the second of the two runs in that third inning for the Spartans. Pitch from Stecker. Strike called. Now the 1-1. One, one. Misses for a ball, two and one. Stecker's next pitch. Chop swing foul. That'll even the count, two and two. One out, nobody on here in the bottom half of inning number five. And the Spartans trailing the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes just by a run at 3-2. to two. Two, 2 pitch. No, wouldn't get it to him, and it's full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Stecker's 3-2 pitch. Pop foul behind the Whitefish Bay dugout. So it remains a full count at three balls and two strikes. Stecker's pitch. Little chop, fly ball, right field, Muth coming on and making the catch for the out. Held up there for a moment, but uh, Muth had to come in and make the running catch at the last moment. So two ups and two outs, and that'll bring up the number nine batter, Landon Dot. Dot's only played appearance today, a uh, fly ball to center field for an out, so he's 0 for 1. Pitch from Stecker, right down the pipe for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Stecker coming right back, strike 2 called, and it's 0 and 2. 
Stecker looking for a 1-2-3 inning here and getting his team back in the dugout to start the sixth. Here it is. Check swing and got him, strike three. So two strikeouts in the inning for Stecker. And the Spartans go three up and three down here in their half of the fifth inning. No runs on, no base hits, no errors, nobody left on base. Five innings are now in the book here in this North Shore Conference matchup. And it remains Whitefish Bay 3 and West Bend West 2. This is High School Baseball with the West Bend West Spartans on West Bend Community TV. Welcome back to West Bend. The Bear Barry Hirsch with camera operator Tom Stoff as we go to the sixth inning. 3-2 to two, Whitefish Bay leads. We have a new pitcher now for the Spartans. It'll be number 46. Joey Schneider, so Ryan Rail will go five innings today, giving up three runs, all of them earned, on four hits. He struck out eight, and he walked just three. So now Joey Schneider gives way, and J.D. Dix will lead things off here for the Blue Ducks. He'll be followed by Jack Now and then Ryan Carew. And the first offering by Schneider is across for a strike in its own one. Dix hitless in two previous plate appearances today. Infield ground out in the first, walked in the third. Pitch from Schneider. Strike two called. And Schneider coming out of the box, flaming hot now, throwing two pitches and two strikes. Look a little bit more velocity, too, on Schneider than what Rail was able to have. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, ground ball, oh, just missed, but picked up instead by the uh, shortstop Young. He'll uh, not get it off in time. And it'll be a leadoff infield single for J.D. Dix. So that's the fifth hit of the game for the Blue Dukes, and that'll bring up Jack Naw. Strikeout victim two times already today. Pitch from Schneider. Swinging strikeout in the first and then caught looking on a strike called three in the third. And he's behind 0-1 to Schneider right now. Pitch. Schneider just missed for a ball and it's even at 1-1. Next pitch, swung on and missed for a strike. And Schneider ahead in the count now. One ball, two strikes. Pitch to Naw, runner going, swung on and missed, strike three. Throw down to second, not in time, and Dix will be in there. But Naw will get called out on the strike three. And Schneider records his first strikeout. One out. There's now a little bit of repair job going to be needed out there for second base. Apparently the pad has come off of its anchor. All right, Ryan Carew, the DH, coming up. Fly ball to the right fielder in the second inning. Walked in the fourth and then got caught stealing to end the inning. So Carew looking for his first hit of the game. Big run now out there at second base for the Blue Dukes, up by a run. Pitch from Schneider. Bounces away, and that's going to allow Dix to get down to third.
In and out of the glove that time of Alex Ean. And now the Blue Dukes have a go-ahead insurance run, actually, 90 feet away. Crew looks at a ball, and it's 2-0. Next pitch. It's a ball low and it's 3-0. and Schneider's pitch. There's a strike. 3-1 and one the count now. Pitch, and couldn't quite get it. It's a base on balls to Ryan Carew. So a strikeout and a walk here for Schneider in his first inning of relief. And that'll bring up Patrick okay. Muth. Muth is 0 for 2 in this game so far, but now runners at the corners for the Blue Dukes. Trying to go up by at least two runs here in this sixth inning. Spartan infield coming in close now. Here's the pitch. Swung on chopper to first. Challenges the runner, takes the play at first. And the runner will come in and score. So a ground out, nicely played initially by Gerber, but then Dix widely, wisely came in and scored. And now it's back to a two-run game at 4-2. Now batting number five, Mike Cobb. Here's Mike Topp now, the number nine batter, playing left field. He's 0 for 2. Chopper on the infield, and it's going to go through and take a base, and that is going to allow Carew to come in and score. So now they go back up. By two, by three at five to two. Top of the order for the Blue Dukes, number three, Jack Council. And that'll bring up Jack Council. So the error on Tyler Young. Here's Council hitting the first pitch, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. Third hit of the afternoon for Jack Council. Top will go down to second base. So it's runners at first and second with two outs. And now Brady Council will come up. Pitch from Schneider. Strike one called. Next pitch from Schneider. There's a strike, and it's 0-2 with two outs. Two runs have come across here for the Blue Dukes, however, in the sixth inning. Strike three called. As he's caught looking, and that'll end the sixth inning, but... The Blue Dukes do a little bit more damage here as they pick up two runs on two hits. They leave two runners stranded. There was one costly error on behalf of the Spartans. 
Five and a half innings have now been played here in West Bend, and the new score now reads Whitefish Bay 5 and the West Bend West Spartans 2. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community TV. We're back in West Bend with camera operator Tom Stoff, the Bear Barry Hirsch. We go to the home half of the sixth inning. Spartans now trail it by three at five to two. The good news is it's the top of the order. One, two, three, O'Connell, Ean, and Young against Jack Stecker, who's gave up a few runs, but otherwise has pitched himself a good one here this afternoon. Stecker's first pitch to open up the sixth is in there for a strike. Spartans, of course, as the home team, will get their chances to bat in the seventh inning. Unless, of course, they stage a big rally here in the sixth to take the lead. Here's the pitch. A little chopper on the ground. Margette will pick it up and take it for out number one. One up and one down for the Spartans, and that'll bring up catcher Alex Ean. Catcher number four, Alex. Ian Hitless at two previous trips to the plate today, struck out in the first, infield ground out in the third. Stecker's first pitch to Ian. Check swing foul back into the net, and it's 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. Strike called. And now Ian behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. Stecker's pitch. Strike three called as Ian gets caught looking. And there's two outs. Six strikeouts now for Jack Stecker. And that'll bring up Tyler Young. Number two, Tyler Young. So the Spartans starting to run out of uh, time here now. as They're going to have to stage a rally in the home half of the seventh if they want to defeat the Blue Dukes. Pitch from Stecker. Strike called. Stecker now seems to be in a groove. Next pitch, misses for a ball. One ball, one strike with two outs. Here's the pitch from Stecker. Little chop foul. Stecker gave up two runs on one hit in the third inning to the Spartans and then just a single to the Spartans in the fourth inning, and that's been it. Two runs on just two hits so far today for the West Bend West Spartans. Stecker back on, toes the rubber now with two outs. Nobody on. Here's his pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. And the Spartans are going to come down to their final three outs, but in the sixth inning, they go three up and three down. Nothing across. We've played six complete in this North Shore Conference matchup. It is Whitefish Bay 5 and the West Bend West Spartans 2 here on West Bend Community TV. Back here in West Bend, we go to the seventh inning in this North Shore Conference game. Whitefish Bay leading it by three runs at 5-2. to two. It'll be Margette, Stecker, and J.D. Dix, the three, four, and five hitters for Jay Roshinsky here in the seventh inning. Schneider goes to work for his second inning of relief, and he opens it up with his first pitch for a strike, and it's 0-1. 
Margette got the game rolling with a triple RBI back in the first inning. And he's been hitless since then, so he's one for three. Next pitch, low. Spartans will have the middle of their order coming up in the bottom of the seventh inning to try for a rally. The four, five, and six hitters in the order. Now the 2-1. Swung on, ground ball, and picked up by the uh, shortstop. Young throws to first, got him for the out. One up and one down for the Blue Dukes here in their half of the seventh. And that'll bring up Jack Stecker, the pitcher. Pitcher number 13, Jack Stecker. So with Stecker batting here in the top of the seventh, most likely he'll get a chance to finish his game in the bottom of the seventh. As he has to back away there for a moment, but it's in there for a strike from Schneider. And it's 0-1. Now the 0-1. Missed for a ball, 1-1. One 1-1, one. popped up foul. Schneider coming with the next pitch. Chopper on the infield. Young picks it up, throws over, high throw, and no, he pulls him off the bag. So that'll cost another throwing error, second error of the game on shortstop Tyler Young. That'll bring up J.D. Dix, singled and scored back in that sixth inning. One out with a runner at first here in the top of the seventh. Blue Dukes leading at five to two. Pitch from Schneider, swung on and missed for a strike. Count even now, one and one. Now the one one, swung on and missed, strike two. J.D. looked like he was almost swinging for the fences on that last pitch. And now he'll step back in the box. Behind in the count, one ball, two strikes to Joey Schneider. Pitch from Schneider. In the dirt, gets away, and Stecker is going to be able to uh, go down to second. So now Stecker advances to second. First got on by the air, now the wild pitch. And it's two balls, two strikes to J.D. Dix. <clears throat> Dix sends one off to uh, left field and camping underneath it and making the catch for the out was Lebec. So that's two outs. Two gone here for the Blue Dukes. Now betting number two, Jack Naw. And that'll bring up Jack Naw. Naw has been a strikeout victim all three previous plate appearances here today. Now look at the first pitch for a ball, and it's 1-0. and oh. Next pitch. There's a strike. Evens it up at one and one. 
It'll be uh, Gerber, Schneider, and Kleinhaus for the Spartans in the bottom of the seventh. Here's a pitch runner going, strike through, called, slide in, and the ball goes into uh, the field, and that's going to allow Stecker to come in and score. So a couple of errors uh, have credited Stecker to come around and score. And now it is six to two in favor of Whitefish Bay. Pitch from Schneider. Swung on, fly ball, left field giving chase out there is Going to be caught for the final out of the inning. But a little bit of damage was done here for Whitefish Bay as they pick up one run on no hits. There were two errors by the Spartans here in this top of the seventh inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh. We need a home rally to do this one. It is Whitefish Bay 6 and the West Bend West Spartans 2. Welcome back to West Bend as we go to the home half of the seventh inning. Spartans trailing it by four runs now at six to two. It'll be Casey Gerber to lead things off for the hometown Spartans. Gerber is uh, 0 for 2 in this game today. Jack Stecker pitching a good game here for Whitefish Bay. He's only given up two hits on two runs, and that was uh, in that third and fourth inning. First pitch to open up the seventh inning is a ball, and it's 1-0. and Here's the next pitch from Stecker. That's down the pipe for a strike, and it's 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1, one, one. just miss, and it's a ball, 2-1. and one. Stecker's pitch, swung on, fly ball, right field side, waiting for it to come down is Muth, and he'll make the catch for the first out. One up and one down for the Spartans here in their half of the seventh. They're down to their last two outs. Now batting number 22, Ryan Rail. And here's Ryan Rail. Rail does have a single in this game back in the fourth inning, but that's been it. That's one of the two hits for the Spartans. The other one was a single by Riley O'Connell. Stecker, two outs away from a complete game victory for his Blue Dukes. First pitch is a ball. Here's the 1 0. There's a strike call, and it's 1 and 1. One ball, one strike with one out. Pitch to rail. There's a strike right down the center. Belt high, and it's one ball, two strikes. Kleinhaus is on deck for the Spartans. He might be their last breath here today, depending on what rail can do here. Pitch from Stecker. Got him, strike three. And now there's two outs. Eight strikeouts on the afternoon for Jack Stecker. Third baseman, number 11, Michael Kleinhans. And now Michael Kleinhans is the batter. Last chance here for the Spartans. Two outs, nobody on, down by four at six to two. 
Pitch from Stecker. Down the middle for a strike, and it's 0-1. Next pitch. Chop foul. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch, just missed. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Kleinhans trying to keep things going. Here's the pitch. Here's a little chopper on the infield. Council will pick it up, throw it a first, and that is all she wrote here this afternoon. As the final out is recorded, and the Spartans go three up and three down, no runs on, no hits, and nobody left on base. So the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes behind a great pitching effort today from Jack Stecker. Stecker goes seven complete innings. He only gives up two runs, both earned on two hits. He walks two. He strikes out eight. And they win the game by the final score of six to two. Six to two is your final score. Whitefish Bay defeating the West Bend West Spartans. The Spartans only runs... In this game came in the third inning when they got uh, two runs on one hit. And then the only other hit that Stecker gave up was in the uh, fourth inning, a single to pitcher Ryan Rail. But the Blue Dukes get two runs right away in that first inning. They add on a single tally in the third, two more in the sixth to put it out of reach, and then one more in the seventh inning. Final score, Whitefish Bay six and West Bend West two. On behalf of camera operator Tom Stoff, I'm the Bear Barry Hirsch. Thank you for watching this production of High School Sports on West Bend Community TV.